A lot of amateur astrophotographers are leaving their rig either in their backyard or on their rooftops or on their balconies like I do these days and we tend to shoot all night in order to get as much data as we can uh, using a clear night as much as we possibly can and this poses a little bit of a risk on our equipment because if we decide to actually go to sleep and leave everything unattended what happens if there is a rain cloud that suddenly rolls in you know how deadly rain can be to electronics so we would like to avoid that at all costs so i wrote uh, i made myself a custom weather rain sort of monitoring and alerting app that sends push notifications to my phone if there is any rain coming in the next two hours uh, when this rain is going to come and if it rains right now it sends like emergency alerts to make sure to actually wake me up so I can go immediately and take necessary action so in this video I'm going to show you how I did that and how you can do it yourself for absolutely free and use that in your own location with your own phone tablet or whatever again absolutely free so let's get started Alright, so the ideal solution would be to either have a actual ground station with your own weather station that monitors clouds, rain, wind, everything, and then reports to your computer so you can hook it up to your observatory dome to actually automatically close the dome roof and protect your equipment. But if you don't have any of that fancy stuff and you just have your rig on a tripod and you would like to utilize some online services to notify you about changing weather conditions, then you are in a good place. And we all know how it is with weather forecasts, then you may be seeing that, oh, it's supposed to be clear whole night, but it isn't. And, you know, conditions change, especially if you're living in a climate like, you know, Australia, New Zealand, near the tropics, where, uh, you know, the weather can change dramatically. So uh, what I usually do is just constantly monitor the weather uh, if I'm out shooting, if my rig is out shooting and I am at home not actually seeing what's outside, I would normally just check on the weather periodically to make sure that nothing changed. And I figured out, okay, let's automate this. I am a software developer, so I have written a program that does this for me. And I have um, found the best sort of service to, to utilize for that purpose is AccuWeather. A minute cast. This is how this feature is called. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. The minute cast is showing you minute by minute precipitation forecast for the next 120 minutes. This is a very this is a very short term forecast and it's sort of reassuring because if it's short term it's got to be more accurate than something that is you know predicting the future in like two or three weeks into the future. So if it's short term it, it it gives me this kind of a confidence that it's going to be more accurate. So here I am on the AccuWeather website and as you can see we have a weather map so let's pick a location that is going to be raining or either it's going to be or it already rains. So let's see um, something in oh, Reykjavik maybe in Iceland. Looks like it's raining right now so I'm gonna type Reykjavik. Uh, I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go to Minutecast up here and then I have this chart actually it says no precipitation for at least 120 minutes that's great this is a notification that I will also send to my phone periodically to kind of make sure so I can make sure that the app is still working that the weather is still being checked even if nothing wrong is happening in terms of you know rain clouds rolling in uh, so in this in this case it's actually great so let's go to uh, Borgarnes for instance let's say Okay, and here in the minute cast we can see, okay, we have a break in rain in one minute and we have light rain and then we have some rain. As, as you can see, it shows you this kind of a chart, what is going to happen if there's going to be rain or snow or ice or the mixture of these and you have this nice sort of visual representation. So what I did is I have uh, I have used a service that already exists for both iOS and Android, which is called Pushover. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute if you if you stick around. Pushover is an app that you can use to send push notifications to your phones from any other place. You can basically send a web request to a special URL address that will send a push notifications to your phone. So I have written a script in JavaScript that periodically goes to AccuWeather 
uh, reads this chart, actually takes a screenshot of this chart, gets this caption, like for instance, in this case, a break in the rain in one minute, and then it's going to parse it. So if there is no precipitation in 120 minutes, it's going to be a message that everything is good. But if there's going to be rain in less than like 30 minutes or something, you're going to get a high priority alert. If it's going to be raining in more than 30 minutes and less than 120, it's going to be a low priority alert. And that way I can see what's happening without actually remembering to refresh the page uh, of, the, of a weather app over and over again. And if there is raining right now and I'm asleep, I'm going to get an emergency alert which bypasses my mute settings, silence, whatever I have on my iPhone and it's going to wake me up. So if you want to see how uh, to do that and how you can set it up for yourself, if you're interested in that, continue watching. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is go to pushover.net. This is the web page of this app that we are going to be using and you need to sign up. So let's go to sign up and we're going to create a new account. Let's use uh, test one, two, three, something like that. Let's create a password. I am a human, All right? And now sign up. Uh, we are going to get a verification email to this email address. So let's verify it real quick. All right, and here's that email. So I'm just gonna click verify your email address. I'm actually going to copy it and paste it in this browser. So let's do that. And right now your email address has been verified. So right here you have your user ID. This is the ID that you we are going to be uh, putting in a configuration file in this script that uh, I will give to you. You will be able to download this script uh, for free from uh, like my Google Drive. And this is one of the parameters that we will have to set. You will see it in, uh, in a moment. And now we also need to create an app, uh, a pushover app, because this pushover app can actually talk to existing apps, but we want to create our own. So let's go to create an application. Let's name it uh, weather alert, let's say, um, agree to terms of, uh, terms of service, create an application. And this gives us an API token for our application. This is the second um, sort of key sort of string that we'll have to put in a configuration file. So we need that and we need the one that we saw before. So right now, what you need to do is download Pushover to your phone. I already have it on my phone. So let me just uh, open that. Uh, okay, so this is the Pushover app uh, on iOS. I'm just gonna use the same email address that I have used to sign up just a minute ago. Okay, and we are logged in. I can save this password or not. Let's not add a device. That's great. And there we go. We have uh, welcome to pushover. We can go to settings and set some settings as we want. I'm going to turn on critical alerts. Critical alerts for high priority. I'm gonna show you how it looks in a moment. So I'm gonna enable that and then go back. And that's pretty much all I have to do on my phone. So let's just put it away for now. All right, so right now go to the description of this video and there you, find, you will find a link uh, to, the, to the actual script that does, that reads the weather and sends the notifications. I have already downloaded that actually, you know, I have it already on my computer. So this is the zip file that you would get. So just double click it. And uh, by the way, it works on both Windows and uh, Mac OS. It even works on a Linux if you would like to run it on a cloud server or something. That's what I actually use. So I don't need to have my home computer running all night in order to have this service. You could do that, but if you don't want to do that, you can just run it on your computer and just you'll have to make sure that it doesn't go to sleep or anything during the night. So this is the folder that you would get. As you can see, you have Mac and Windows folders. So let's go to the Mac folder. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, we can configure the um, our IDs right now. So we have this config JSON here. So let's just open it and text edit. And then you need to put in some of the IDs. First thing, uh, the first thing that you need to do is minutecast URL. This is the URL of the AccuWeather sort of page for the minutecast. I switched the location to Jacksonville because conditions actually changed a bit since I started uh, filming this video. So you just need to grab this URL copy that, go back here, and then just paste it here, just like that. Uh, and then you need to do the pushover app token. This is uh, this one. So this is the application token. So this goes right here. And then we need to have your user ID. So let's go back to apps. 
and your user ID is right here. So let's copy that and let's paste it here. And then you can uh, set what's the poll interval in minutes. So um, how often do you want to get your messages? The current limit, the lowest limit is five minutes, I think, because I don't want you to, you know, DDoS AccuWeather with requests like, you know, 100 times a second. So the lowest interval you can put in here is five minutes and the highest one is whatever you want. And the server port is something that you will probably no never have to change. So just don't worry about it. Save this file close that let's go back here and then we need to install dependencies so go to the appropriate folder depending on your os uh, and run the install script first okay unverified developer yeah um because this is for free i don't publish it anywhere you're just gonna have to trust me that there are no viruses here this is actually a text file that you can open uh, in any text editor and you can ins inspect that it doesn't do anything illicit. It just basically runs npm install, which installs um, node uh, sort of dependencies. And by the way, this actually reminds me that first you also need to download and install Node.js. You can see it on this website. This is the JavaScript execution environment for um, Windows and Mac OS or Linux. And you are going to need that because my script is written in JavaScript and this is what runs JavaScript. So once you install that, I'm not going to do it because I already have it on my system. You will be able to run this install script. So let me actually allow it in settings. Yeah, so I can open it anyway right here. Let's open anyway. Yep, let's open. And then it installs. It basically installs uh, uh, installs the JavaScript sort of dependencies so it can run uh, necessary stuff and just wait for it a little bit. All right, and now it is installed, so we can uh, close this and we can just uh, run it. And at this point, when we run it, it should actually send the first notification within like 20, 30 seconds. And then every 15 minutes, it should go to AccuWeather, open this page again, uh, open the minute cast and send another notification with how the conditions have actually changed. So let's uh, double click on the run. And then uh, let's just wait. It should happen any second. Now on my phone, we should get some notifications. Let's see how situation. Okay, we have rainfall in uh, 18 minutes. As you can see in this notification, I got three notifications with high priority. And this is because uh, I have said that um, when there is rainfall happening within 30 minutes, there is a high priority alert. So it will bypass your uh, mute settings. If you have set this uh, option, which I showed you to use critical alerts for high priority earlier on in the pushover app, and you get three of them to make sure that you are waking up. If you don't want to be uh, woken woken up, if you don't want to be woken up, just don't use the critical alerts for high priority alerts. And right here you can see, okay, be warned, rainfall in 18 minutes, uh, and you have this screenshot from AccuWeather right here nicely. So this is basically how it works. And in 15 minutes, we would get another set or another one uh, notifications on uh, our phone. So uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. You can download this script. And by the way, uh, in Pushover, you can see that you have actually a 30 day trial of the Pushover app uh, using this email. If you really don't want to pay absolutely anything every like 30 days, you could sign up for a new account in Pushover, change up your IDs and this configuration file that I have shown you and then you can keep using that for free. However, you can also pay $5, which is a one-time fee and those $5 go, don't go to me. They don't, they go to the pushover developers from, from this app. Uh, so you can pay $5 for a lifetime access to their app. There's no subscription, no strings attached. As far as I understand, $5 and that is it. Or you can use it for free by changing up your accounts every 30 days. So I think this is pretty neat. I think this can save you your equipment if there is a sudden rainfall in the middle of the night and you are asleep or just, you know, watching movies, chilling and forgot that your rig is out there and something bad is happening with the weather. Uh, the script that you are going to get from my Google Drive is a minified version of the JavaScript file, so you will not be able to edit it. You can use it for free as is. However, if you would like to kind of meddle and, you know, fiddle around with the script yourself, maybe make some changes, maybe adjust to your needs, maybe take it, you know, to the next level and do something else with that. You can actually get a full source file of the script that I have run, but this is only for my Patreon supporters. So you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Relevant links will be down below in the description and you will get the access to the actual source code of that script. And you can also consult with me if you would like, you know, 
however you want to, 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 to whatever extent do you want to take it further. But if you want to just use it for free, no strings attached, without any modifications, you can download it for free. Again, links below. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to leave it a like down below. I would appreciate it as always. And also consider subscribing to my channel because I will be posting a lot more interesting stuff revolving around astrophotography and the coming future. So yeah, hopefully see you in one of my next videos. Clear night, clear nights, and see you next time. Bye-bye.